welcome back. So it's the first time I've seen you since Mother's Day, so I wanted to wish you a very belated, <laughs> but yet happy Mother's Day. A lot of you left beautiful sentiments on my Saturday video, and that video for me, I, I film ahead of time, and so I did not get to wish you all a happy Mother's Day, and I hope you had a fabulous one. I had a beautiful Mother's Day. My husband finished the deck. Um, he made me fajitas, and we had uh, beans and rice, and I bought myself a lovely strawberry shortcake with uh, strawberry macaroons and ice cream and it was just fabulous. Also this last weekend I got a coupon in the mail for Bath and Body Works and I always like to use my coupons when there's a, a sale and so I bought summer scents and so today we're gonna go and I'm gonna share with you all of the summer scents that I've purchased now I'm gonna do this like I always do these videos and if you've watched any of my other ones um, you know story time I like to get set, give scent descriptions so if you are just watching this video and you want to order some uh, then this is gonna hopefully be helpful but I also love to just have story time about things and I love how scents jog memories and you know any excuse for me to just kind of ramble and talk with you guys is a great one also I will link the previous uh, videos in the description box if you just kind of want to it's kind of fun to just listen to me ramble about stories anyway so link in the description box for all the previous videos but let's get into this summer 2021 Bath and Body Works candles I'm not joking I bought lots and lots of candles so I had a coupon to get a free body care item and so I picked up the into the night shower gel I just kind of like the packaging and the scent is really nice. It is Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. It's like a um, spicy sweet scent. Very, very lovely. And then I uh, bought some summertime uh, car fragrances in Endless Weekend, uh, Tiki Beach, and Waikiki Beach Coconut for my vehicles. So I had Chloe, my daughter, along with me and she says, Mommy, can I pick one out for my bedroom? And I said, yes smell some and go ahead and get one and of course the first one that she smells is the one that she wanted but I think she really just wanted it because she liked the color but it does smell amazing um, it's strawberry pound cake keep in mind a lot of these you can choose a different wrap and I wasn't really drawn to a lot of the wraps per se in this particular season's uh, prints however you can put them inside of a candle holder so this is strawberry pound cake it has a copper lid with like floral prints on it very very beautiful oh, this is strawberry pound cake I think it's a little too sweet for my taste but this is for her room uh, my husband actually really liked this one I like a sweet candle don't get me wrong but it needs to not be so sweet that it gives me a headache or it's just it's too up here and just it's just too much I like to kind of calm it down and kind of ground the candle oh but this is definitely heavy on the sweet the notes of this one are fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream this is reminding me of the cake that I had for Mother's Day oh coincidentally if you live in Texas and you have go to HEB it's the strawberry shortcake but they added strawberry macaroons on the top and I'm a huge macaroon fan and then they added like a whippy light airy not too sweet strawberry frosting on top of the light whippy airy vanilla really fresh whipped cream oh my gosh it was heavenly uh this candle is you know it's a very sweet strawberry shortcake it's not my personal favorite but once again my daughter is, she picked this out so now we're gonna get into the ones that I picked out and the first one that I picked up here is called Bubbly Rosé. So as I stated, a lot of these I bought for the scent, not the color. So you can always turn candles around too. But red is a really lovely color to incorporate for like Memorial Day, 4th of July, that sort of thing. This, you guys. Mmm. <sighs> I'm a wine drinker. I love wine. I recently have been consuming quite a bit of rosé just because it's kind of that middle of the road not a white not a red but just a perfect summer one this is grape like but sparkling very zesty um, you can smell the bubbles in this which is very interesting how they were able to capture like that bubbling effect mmm this is sweet but fresh and a little bit of zest so this is pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and splash of cranberry juice. That's the zest. That's the zing, that cranberry. Mmm. It's amazing how, so how I tend to do this is I'll smell it and then I'll tell you what the notes are. Just so you're basically getting my opinion first and then you'll get the notes of what they are. 
This is very lovely. I actually have this in a wallflower and this is just a very, um, I think I have it in my bathroom actually. Very nice scent. Um, it's gonna give you that summertime fruitiness, but it's not as sweet as something like this would be. So th give this one a sniff. So next we have Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. This is fresh sliced kiwi passion fruit, which I'm not real, I don't actually know if I've ever ate straight passion fruit to tell you the truth, but I've, I've smelled it. This is fruity. This is very fruit forward, like a tray of fresh fruit. You're sitting outside on your patio, maybe you're having a picnic. This is that very fresh fruit smell sweet, but not sugary sweet, more like fresh sweet. Mmm, very, very lovely. So we have tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, and juicy pineapple. Yeah, I do get pineapple. Mmm, so this is a very nice one, probably to burn. You know, if you're gonna have people over and you want it to smell like summertime in your home, this is a good one. This is not gonna be summertime suntan lotion, beach, that sort of thing. This is summertime fresh tropical fruit. Okay, I already know what I'm gonna tell you about this one because in the store, I have to tell you the thought that came to my mind as soon as I smelled this, and it's kind of funny. And I told this story to my husband, and he's like, hmm, that's a very oddly specific story. I'm like, I know, right? So this one is called Warm Ocean Breeze. So the wrap on this one definitely is a little bit more summer beachy-esque. Mm-hmm, it's the same story. Okay, so picture yourself, you're on a beach. It's evening time, the sun is starting to set. Maybe you're doing a late night swim. So you have people coming to swim and you have people that are done swimming for the day. They've already showered, they got their clothes on to go to a restaurant. I'm specifically thinking of a restaurant in Biloxi because in Biloxi, there are restaurants right on the, what's the breakwater actually, but it is the Gulf. And they just, they're literally within walking distance from the waves. And so picture yourself sitting there and a gentleman walks by who's freshly showered and cologned. You got that picture in your mind, there's a breeze, and all of a sudden, you smell his cologne on top of already having the fresh salt water smells going on. Okay, that's what this smells like. He's handsome too, let's add that in. Oh my gosh, so you have the, the fresh air smell, you have the salt in the air, but then that men's cologne, now it has to be a certain men's cologne, it's not like a, it's not an overpowering men's cologne. It's a very gentle, fresh men's cologne. But that's precisely what came to my mind as I'm standing in the Bath Body Works store. <laughs> very oddly specific, I know, but that's just what I thought of. So the notes are ocean sandalwood, warm sage, eucalyptus zest, and coconut. So I'm gonna let you know, not a lot of coconut comes through on this. I really get the sage and the eucalyptus, and then the sandalwood. I think the sandalwood note is what brings that men's cologne to mind. You gotta really search for the coconut on this one. This one is, is very softly summer. This is a pleasant smell. I think if you're not into super sweet, you're not into coconut, you're not into suntan lotion, check this one out. I think this has a very specific lane for people that didn't like the previously mentioned categories. But I think it's a very lovely, um, lovely summer scent. I mean, I love to tell stories and I feel like telling the story makes sharing what candles I buy uh, way more interesting than just holding it up. Okay, this next one I buy every single year. I remember the first year that it came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. In fact, I still have this candle from, uh, gosh, did I buy it? The last haul that I did, I didn't share, um, but I think it was in the winter time. They had just started trickling in these and I bought it because the color matches my bathroom perfectly and it is Tiki Beach. In fact, the one that I have is more the frosted glass and this is like more the clear glass and this just beautifully matches the aesthetic of my bathroom. But Tiki Beach is my favorite. I have two favorites and I don't think I bought the other favorite. I don't know if I saw it there actually. So my other favorite is Endless Weekend. I love that one for summertime, but Tiki Beach. Oh, I love this one. I. I can't even put my finger on the specific note. I guess when I read it, I'll be like, okay, that's probably what it is. But I just really like this one in a bathroom, in a bedroom, anywhere in your house. There's just something really pleasant about this specific one. So, warm vanilla musk, 
orchids and toasted coconut. I think it's the vanilla musk. I love vanilla candles. In fact, when I started shopping, I originally put three vanilla lead candles in my bag and I'm like, hold up, hold up. I'm buying summer candles and I, I was kind of in there all the time section and I just was like some of my favorite ones were the spice cinnamon one, the vanilla birch, um, something else vanilla and I was just like, hold up, I, I, I actually want summer scents, not just all the time ones. Oh, the vanilla with the coconut is lovely. This would be a very nice perfume, quite honestly. So if you want one of my most favorite summertime candle recommendations, it would be Tiki Beach. All right, so this next one is new to me. I've never had this one. I haven't had some of these other ones either, but this uh, had a couple different wrap styles, and I don't, I don't really care for any of them, quite honestly, but this one's called Fiji White Sands. With the exception of some of the brighter colored ones and of course this color, none of these really fit like my decor for summertime, but I don't really care because I can always put candles, like you can take them out, burn them in, put them back. I'm just really over the top about things matching. <laughs> and, and that's just me. Um, I, I, I wish I wasn't, but at the same time, I don't like things to match, you know, it just makes me feel good. So this one, hmm, this one is really gentle. It's not a pungent in your face. Now here's the thing, I've had some duds from Bath & Body Works, which typically you don't get duds there. I mean, that's why we shop there, right? Is because the scents truly permeate a room, if not your entire house. They're very strong scented candles. And But I have had some where they smell really great and then you burn them and you can't, the throw is really, and that's what it's called, is the throw when it permeates a room. The throw isn't very good. Um, other times, like it smells so strong and then you burn it and it just doesn't burn the same. Okay, this one is giving me Tiki Beach vibes. However, it's a little less sweet. This is fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine and sandalwood. Gosh, I like a little bit of sandalwood. I personally, uh, my scent profile of perfumes that I enjoy and even house scents are, I like things with a little spice, a little bit of woodiness, something to ground the candle and not just have it be all floral or all sweet. I don't gravitate towards the all floral or sweet categories just because I feel like the scent really needs a grounding point, you know? So the sugar cane and the nectarine. Hmm. The nectarine's really soft. It's not like a fresh cut orange or something. It's a little zest. There, you get a, a little bit of sweet and then you get that zest. And then the last thing you, you smell on this is that grounding note. This is really pleasant. I think this is a very approachable summer candle once again. They have a lot of scents, right? And a lot of them I think are just a little bit too overpowering. This is a very approachable, pleasant, a little more sophisticated summer scent. So now we're gonna go into this color and I thought this color really matches my tablescape, um, which I'm going to film. Uh, just not this week. This is just a crazy week. So next week I have a couple decorating videos that I want to film. I just did not pan out this week and we've been working out in the yard like dogs, putting together furniture, finishing our deck. We still have yard work to finish. Um, I've been doing some gardening and so that's kind of been the focus this week. Anyways, um, this is sun-kissed coconut and this is a very, uh, it's, camera doesn't like to pick up neon colors very well. This is a very um, yellow but borderline like a lemon lime neon yellow green color i don't know why neon colors i've noticed that with cameras it's really hard to pick up the tone must be something in the color itself okay okay so now this this is going to take you into that land of mm, hint of sunscreen this is going to take you to the land of we're on the beach in florida and we put our sunscreen on and we're sipping coconut drinks. Like that's where this is gonna take you. So if that is your world, you're gonna like this. Whereas the other ones are more like, it's summertime, but we're in Northern Wisconsin, <laughs> like where I grew up. <laughs> you know, like we want it to smell like the beach, but not straight up beach. Yeah, this, oh man, I almost got a hint of banana. Now there was a banana one that I kind of liked, but I didn't, I was unsure about how sweet it was. Like I said, too sweet kind of is like, you know, your nose kind of goes a little wonky. This is super approachable, but a little more sweet. Okay, so this is sweet coconut, fresh yangling. Is that how you say that? And plumeria petals. Yeah, it is floral. It is a little floral. Yeah, interesting. So what's the first one? Yes, yeah, sweet coconut for sure. The yangling with the plumeria. 
I said sunscreen, but it's not sunscreen. It's just floral. So you know how sunscreens can be kind of, they might have a hint of floral to them. This is nice. I'm curious how this is going to burn because sun-kissed coconut. Yes, it is coconutty, but the floral elements really make it um, more pleasing. Yeah, this is, this is nice. And you know what? They must not have had the Endless Weekend uh, candle because I totally would have bought that one. So that gets my recommendation for sure. The last one I bought, I bought because I really liked the color of it. It's once again, it's that glass color and it's like a really pretty peach. And so I thought that this would be very pretty in my living room or in my um, entryway. And this is not a summer scent per se. It's one they have all the time, but I really like it. Um, it's called Paris Cafe. Okay, so you gotta like coffee if you're gonna like this. If you don't like the smell of coffee, this is not gonna be a candle for you. Actually, this one is one of those that's so strong. I didn't even need to stick my nose in that. This one is stronger than some of the other previously shown ones. This one, as soon as you take the lid off, you know what, you can smell it. Oh, I live for this. I love it. It's making me want to go brew another cup of coffee, and I've already had two. I don't need a third cup yet. I usually have one in the afternoon, but man, I love this. This is roasted espresso beans. I can smell it. It is permeating. I, oh my gosh, I love this. So, rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, and vanilla cream. Oh, yes. I have an espresso maker. Now I need to go make myself a fancy coffee. Oh, this is coffee shop at its finest, like a coffee shop that has a bakery where they're selling fresh baked goods, maybe some croissants, maybe some sugary donuts with like the glaze. I love me a raised glazed. I just, I die for raised glaze. I mean, I like a regular cake donut. I, I will eat any donut, any. Um, but if I have a preference, I love the fluffiness of a fresh raised glazed with the glaze just perfectly on it. I love me a cake donut with a cup of black coffee. I'll even eat them sugary, big, huge elephant ears I used to order as a child. I love me a Long John. I love me a raspberry filled. <sighs> you guys, this is great. If you love coffee, this is just a nice one to have. I mean, if you're gonna be having girlfriends over and we're gonna have like a coffee moment, burn this candle. It is very inviting. And that is it. I feel like I bought more than this. I bought six, eight candles. I mean, that'll do me for a while, right? Um, my next big candle haul is in the fall and their fall scents are my favorite. Fall and winter are my favorite scents at back, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Fall and winter are my favorite scents at Bath & Body Works, so I always do hauls at that time of year. I always buy summer candles, I just don't always film a video on it. Um, they had other ones that I have bought previous years that I enjoyed, but I really like to switch it up, especially if they're scents that I wasn't like in love with. I mean, they were fine, they worked, um, but I wasn't in love with. I tried to buy some different ones this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love sitting down and chatting with you. If you are new, please subscribe. Give this video a like. It really helps my channel grow and I appreciate it more than you know. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. And if you want to keep rolling with these candle videos, I will add it to my candle playlist and you can just kind of go through some of the other ones that I bought previous years and all the little stories that are attached. So have a fabulous day, guys, and we'll chat again very soon. Bye, guys.